what's up guys magic knives here and in today's video i'm bringing to you part three of my ao2 tennis gameplay playing as nick Kyrgios versus stefano sitsipas um recently watched uh the episode of breakpoint uh on netflix uh with uh it's if you don't know what it is it's a behind the scenes uh netflix series um in regards to some professional tennis players uh with nick Kyrgios being one of them uh just he was in the first very first episode as well as for episode number six and seven which i obviously watched and um talked about in in the episode six and seven they talked about the uh crazy wimbledon battle that Kyrgios and Tsitsipas had and as well as all the drama that came with it so how fitting that i uh post this gameplay um at this uh, w in recent events of me watching that and with it just coming out and and so forth right so but yeah check out the series if if you're interested at all if you're into that kind of behind the scenes stuff so yeah but uh uh, here in this video, in this commentary, I would kind of want to just touch on some uh, updates in regards to my plans as well as just my hope for uh, future Airsoft uh, content as well as work related because um, if you don't know already, the Airsoft range where I worked for almost three years almost three years like i'd say like two and a half give or take um it's it came to an end unfortunately as i'm speaking the sunday previous uh he was our last uh was our last day so i had to you know sadly take down a lot of the stuff that i either brought there or or built so had to collect it all so now it's all most of it whatever could fit is now in my garage now so uh if it weren't for the possible good news that i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you about right now um probably would have had to just sell it all and try to make some money off of that but um yeah so what the plan is now is with in good in good faith or you know hopefully the uh the gun store that was next to us uh solely outdoors is um doing their best in that when they move to their new uh, location which is still pretty nearby where the original location was um they hope to add airsoft to their line of business in the new place especially because it's way bigger than the old place that we were at um, and because obviously, you know, practical shooting corner, PS corner will not be taking up that space anymore. They would have to, they would end up having to take up that space and taking advantage of the opportunity of making another line of revenue and making more money if they open up uh, an airsoft section uh, in regards to having a range pretty much how we had it uh, with PS Corner but on top of that if um, if we manage to convince the managers um, then we'd even have a little uh, CQB field um, that I would just love to be able to to put together to build and and run some games uh, for the airsoft community on the east end because problem in my area is that all the places that you would want to play airsoft they're all on the west end mainly like the indoor one specifically there's just nowhere not since ever not ever since each airsoft closed down there's no place indoors to play on the east end so um my uh, my hope is that with solely outdoors adding a new place to play airsoft we'll be able to bring the airsoft community back together and um hopefully uh just continue the legacy of of siege in a way 
but unfortunately, obviously in a much smaller form. I mean, unfortunately, it's not going to be gigantic. We're like, we're not going to be able to compete with what Siege had or or whatnot. But I hope to have something that's that's uh, very beginner friendly. Um, something like based off of gunfight, where you just you know you just have a very small like you know maybe one versus one or two v two or maybe up to four v four six v six i'm depending just something like some small teams versus each other and they have to eliminate the the enemy team or capture the center flag you know the whole gunfight game mode just like in call of duty modern warfare one and two so something simple like that that way people aren't uh at least beginner people they're not um dealing with the fact that they're getting overshot and uh like constantly dying just something that's like like low energy um or low intensity i mean uh so they're not like sweating like crazy and so forth because i i just i want to i want to be able to make airsoft still fun by having the force on force uh option um, I think the range is great. It should be like a focus um, for f if we go forth with the whole airsoft uh, thing, um, or if they go forth with it. I mean, I can only hope so as an outsider. But uh, yeah, I just I I want I want it so that uh, I can people have the option like they can either just simply enjoy target shooting at the range section. But there's also a spot for people who are brave enough and or if they are veterans in airsoft, they have the option to have a place to play force on force and not and something that's not too um intense, you know, just maybe something chill if you know, something low intensity in comparison to what they may have experienced at Siege or Ultimate Airsoft or wherever they've played, right? So I just I want to bring that so hopefully it can make airsoft a more um, welcoming uh, sport to to the people in in my community of you know Ontario Canada so that's my big hope um, for sure and um, yeah I just I really hope that with Soli's help that like it's gonna take some time granted like um it's gonna take them probably at least a month to fully settle into the new new place um and then from there it's who knows maybe it'll take them a it'll take a couple months if they go forth with the plan to actually um uh start putting the building blocks or the uh the plan of how we would how we would set up the whole airsoft thing um or how to set up the whole airsoft section like you know like how we set up the range um and uh you know what stuff we would need to build a cqb field like and that's why like what i said earlier is like you know i'm i'm keeping the option of uh or I'm, all the stuff that i had to take back from ps corner like i'm saving it for when the time comes or if i should say if the time comes that um i'm able to make good use of that stuff again and you know continue the legacy of the airsoft range just under a different name now you know so that's my that's my big hope right now or future plans in regards with the whole airsoft uh range and possible CQB field if um if we're able to make it happen and get enough uh approval from from the managers at Soli. So yeah, that's uh some updates for you guys. Let me know your thoughts are in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in my future videos. Till next time, peace out guys.